So on uh, the National NEMO Network website, to get to it directly, it's clear.ucon.edu tools LID map. That's all you need up at that top. Okay, so I'm going to take a minute to go through the basics of the map and kind of introduce you to this home page so you're a little bit more comfortable navigating around and using the search tools. And um, <clears throat> this page is a mashup. And briefly, a mashup is taking two unique things and combining them or literally mashing them together so you create a new project. And the idea is that um, you, you can create something without having to start from scratch. So in our case, we've taken Google Maps, which has already been created for us, and all the uh, network low-impact development projects, which are also created or being created, and we're able to mash them together and produce this really great interface for viewing and searching and adding LID projects around the network. So this is our LID mashup. And um, it uses, the interface itself uses all the same tools as Google Maps. And if you're not familiar with a Google Maps web page, you have a few basic navigation tools at your service. If I wanted to zoom in on this map, I can either do that with the scroll bar. If you have a, um, a scroll uh, wheel on your mouse, I can click, or sorry, I don't even have to click. I can put the cursor over part of the map and scroll in. Or I can scroll the wheel the opposite way and uh, start to scroll out. Or I can also use this bar that's at the side. Um, if you wanted to on the side, there's a similar navigation tool available for you. You can pan around the map using these arrows. I can also scroll in and scroll out by clicking along this bar. So this may be very basic review for some of you, but for others, just to uh, show you the point, I can scroll in by clicking on the top arrow here, the plus sign, and it uses the center point that the map is on currently, whereas with your scroll bar, uh, your scroll wheel on your mouse, you can center and zoom wherever the cursor is at that moment. If I wanted to drag the map around, when you're over the map, you'll notice that your cursor turns into a hand, an open hand, if you notice that there. And when I click and hold the cursor down, I'm now able to drag the map to where I want it to go. So dealing with our lag time, I'm slowly dragging the map, click, hold, drag, over to California. Or, as I mentioned before, you can click on the arrows to pan around at the top. And we can slowly make our way back to the East Coast. <clears throat> And one more nice feature about the Google Maps is that they provide us with a couple of different base maps. So I can change the bottom of the, um, the image by clicking 
the base map choices at the top here. So right now, the map is set to the feature called Terrain. But if I want to change the image to Satellite, I can click the Satellite button there and call up the satellite imagery from Google Maps. Or another nice feature is the hybrid choice, which shows both place names and road networks on top of the satellite imagery from Google Maps. So that's a basic overview of how to use the Google Maps interface. 